टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस गास फॉरवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन फाइंड एफ ऑफ टू पॉइंट फाइव गिवन एफ ऑफ वन इज इक्वल टू वन हैज गिवन एफ ऑफ टू इज इक्वल टू एट हैज गिवन एफ ऑफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट सेवन सॉरी ट्वेंटी सेवन एफ ऑफ फोर इज इक्वल सिक्सटी फोर हैज गिवन ओके सो वाट यू हैव टू डू इज द नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू फॉर्म ए डिफरेंस टेबल फॉर द गिवन डेटा वाट यू हैव टू फॉर्म द डिफरेंस टेबल फॉर द गिवन डेटा so for that one i have taken x as one column y as another column so here the data given is 1 x value is 1 the corresponding y value is 1 therefore 1 1 i have written so next similarly if you go for the f of 2 is equal to 8 x value is 2 and y value is 8 so next one if you go for the next 3 and 27 x value is 3 and y value is 27 so next one is 4 and 64 next what you have to do is the uh, you have to find out the differences so here is the 1 here it is the 8 8 minus 1 is nothing but plus 7 that plus 7 you have to write it in between these two numbers in between these two numbers that is 7 you have to write it here similarly 27 minus 8 how much that value you have to write it here ओके इट इज 19 प्लस 19 ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस एट नॉट एट माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस एट नाइनटीन सो द नेक्स्ट सिक्सटी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन इट इज प्लस थर्टी सेवन थर्टी सेवन आई हैव रिटन हियर सिमिलरली हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द नेक्स्ट डिफरेंसेस हियर नाइनटीन इर इट इज सेवन नाइनटीन माइनस सेवन इट इज प्लस ट्वेल्व यू हाउ टू राइट इट हियर सिमिलरली 37 minus 19 plus 18. You have write it here. Okay. So similarly, you have to find out the next difference. 18 minus 12. This 6. You have to write the difference here. So this is the way to construct a difference table. Okay. Next, what you have to do? Let us look at. Next, you have to know what is the Gauss forward interpolation formula. Okay. What is the Gauss forward interpolation formula? Let us discuss. So f of x naught plus p h is equal to the formula. What it says y naught. The first term is y naught. So the second term is p into delta y one by two. Okay, p into delta y one by two. Okay, and the next term is p into p minus one by two factorial into delta square y naught. Okay, so and the next term is p into p minus one into p plus one by three factorial into delta q one by two. Okay. Similarly, where p is x minus x naught by h. Okay, so now we have to know the notation. How we have written the p value? So here it is uh, p. First, you, here it is p for zero. Here you have written p. Next, you have to write p into p minus one. In Gauss forward, you have to go for the negative onwards. That is, first you have to write the next subtraction. P minus one, you come across it. Next in the next step, what you have to write this entire p into p minus one, you have to write it here, and you have to write add one more term. That it should be addition. That means previously you have written negative p minus one, therefore you have to write p plus one by three factorial and so on so forth. Okay. So how to write y not delta y one by two delta square y one not? We will discuss later. Where p value is x minus x not by h. So what is x? X value is 2.5. Okay. X value is 2.5. Okay. So next x naught is 2. Why I have taken x naught is 2 means we have to find out 2.5. What is the corresponding y value? So 2.5 is in between 2 and 3. So I think that it is closer to 2. And I have taken this 2 as the x naught. Okay. So Next one, h value is one. What is meant by h value? Here in the x column, one and two. The difference is one. Two and three. Difference is one. And three and four. The difference is one. Therefore, h value is one. So now we have to calculate the p value. P is two point five minus two by one. X minus x naught by h. If you do that one, how much you are going to get? The value of p is zero point five. Okay. 
so next uh, similarly you have to find out the f of 2.5 for 2.5 what is the corresponding y value so for that one <coughs> before that one you have to find out what is y not value delta y1 by 2 delta square y not and delta q y1 by 2 values you have to get it so how you will get let us discuss already you have considered this 2 as x naught so the corresponding value 8 is y naught okay the corresponding value is y naught okay next one is you have to draw a horizontal line from connecting to x naught y naught and so on and so forth you have to draw a horizontal line okay so next you have to construct a lower triangle for this one lower triangle means this one similarly from 12 to 6 you have to construct a lower triangle so these are the values that we have to substitute in the gauss forward interpolation formula what are that values is y naught y naught is 8 so this next delta y 1 by 2 is nothing but 19 so next one this 12 is nothing but delta square y naught next one this 6 is nothing but delta q y 1 by 2 so what is uh, in gas forward interpolation formula always the lower triangle values lower triangle values means these values only you have to substitute in the formula okay then you will get the answer okay so here we have delta y 1 by 2 is 19 similarly delta square y naught is 12 and delta q y 1 by 2 is 6 okay so if you y naught is 8 next if you substitute in this one in place of y naught i have substituted here in place of p i have substituted 0 0.5 and delta y 1 by 2 is 19 similarly if you substitute in this formula you are going to get like this similarly if you substitute in place of p 0 0.5 and in place of delta q y 1 by 2 e 6 and do the problem f of 2.5 you are going to get it as 15.625 15.625 so let us check whether this value is correct or not so 2.5 lies between 2 and 3 therefore the answer should lies between 8 and 27 so 15.625 anyway lies between 8 and 8 and 27 therefore the answer is correct okay next to basically you have to remember in gas forward interpolation formula what is that one is so connecting x naught y naught you have to draw a line horizontal line next you have to construct a lower triangle the lower triangle the uh, corresponding values of the lower triangle are the values that you have to substitute in the gauss forward interpolation formula okay thank you